Hello brothers and sisters, I hope you're having a good week. I'd like to share with you a word from the Lord that I got um, directed to the Bride of Christ. I got this word on the 11th of October, that's part one, and there is a second word that will be coming in the next few days. Before I start, I would like to pray. Father in heaven, um, I hope that you bless whoever's listening to this message. And uh, whatever is revealed here, that each and every person goes to the closet um, in prayer and uh, find out uh, either more revelation and what's your will in their lives. I ask you that you enlighten and that you help um, anyone who needs help with this word. So the title of the message is called the revelation of the bride away the bride will go in the night in the day preaching the gospel fearlessly shining forth like my son transfigured ready for battle their words are like a sword of flame invincible for a time yet overcome by the beast she will bring to me every single soul the Father has given me. Not one will perish. Rest assured your time is coming. The work will be great. And in great measure, I will give powers to you. But in great measure, I will request from you. Have you given yourself to me? Have you trusted my will for you? Do you have a godly fear? Godly fear is for those who know their place in humanity. Fear of God is for those who are unrepentant. Do you love me? Do you love me? Then give your life to me and I'll hold your hand into the narrow path and we shall stand before the Father spotless. I suffered a great lot for you so that you die once and are part of the first resurrection. I died so that my light can shine forth in you. And in the end times harvest, you do my work. No one should deceive themselves thinking they know how everything will play out. After this word, um, the Lord told me to read Isaiah 60. Uh, but in a different order, he told me to read chapter 7 and then um, uh, verse, verse circle 7 and then 3. And it, it, I wrote everything together and it became like that. All flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together to you. The rams of Nebaroo shall minister to you. They shall ascend with acceptance on my altar. And I will glorify the house of my glory. The Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. So I thought that was very interesting. Instead of the Lord telling me to read the entire chapter 60, he told me to first read 7 and then go to 3. And the message absolutely confirms this word. It talks about the brightness, about the Gentiles. And, um, and the Lord wants me to also change a little bit of my style and delivering his words. He wants me to always put links um, to the Bible. Because all words should be inspired by the word of God. Not just by our thoughts or what we think it is. So I have found a few um, Bible chapters that uh, confirm the word about the bride. And I'll be posting the links uh, below. I really hope that all of you have a great weekend. Um, I hope that we all have discernment to know what to share, when to share, and with who to share. Because sometimes uh, each revelation of the Lord is, is specifically for a group of people or perhaps only for you and not for everybody else. And uh, I pray in Jesus' name that none of us are they are really wholeheartedly looking for the Father um, gets deceived. That's my prayer. Goodbye.